This world is not our home. All that is in Jesus is our home. That's our resting place. And where we abide also includes healing, provision, protection. You have got to get in the habit of seeking God for healing, not just casually asking for it once in a while. What about pursuing it like white on rice? What about pursuing it like a pit bull going after that meat that it's hungry for? What about pursuing healing like a fly pursues garbage? What about pursuing healing like the devil pursues your life to destroy it? Speak the word. Speak the word and say things like, Lord, your word says healing is the children's bread. Your word said, by your stripes I am healed. Your word said, you make all things new. Well, Lord, make me new. Heal my body. Renew, give me a new heart. Give me new kidneys. Give me a new brain. Give me a new whatever it is you think you need. Regulate this body. Make it function the way you purpose for it to function. I don't want to live my life limping from the crumbs that the devil left me to keep. I don't want to be victimized by him, by circumstances, by medication, by experiments done by the powers that be. I don't want to be subjected or victimized any longer. I am your child and I have a right to be healed because by your stripes, I am healed. Go after your healing, saints. Don't settle. Don't bend over and crack a smile and let the devil kick you in the behind any time he gets good and ready. And I bind all retaliation for this message that I'm giving right now. There will be none. I forbid it and I cancel the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I'm just pausing here. This is a little station break to ask you to please consider not only hitting the like and all of that, but if this ministry has been a blessing to you, please consider donating. I'm about to graduate and this is a very expensive time of year and I don't ask for offerings, but I am asking today. Please enjoy the rest of the message. Thank you very much. But I beg you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, go after your healing. Pursue it like a mad woman, like a mad man. Pursue it. Pursue it for your children. You got autistic children. You got children that have been hurt, legs, not being able to function. You've got children that are any that have different types of syndromes pray over those kids take authority don't settle for the status quo seek god seek his face ask him what is it how much can i have lord we have to remember god's word and his promises here's one psalms 91 he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You're safe under his shadow. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Let me add, nor for the wars that break out in the Middle East. Number six, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Nigh means near. Say it again. It shall not come near thee. Say it personally. It shall not come near me. 
Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Right there you're taking authority over the enemy. You're putting him in his place and getting him out of your space. Paths to sense. Sometimes you gotta get downright mad. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Do you know the power of his name? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And I love this promise that God says. With long life will I satisfy him. And show him my salvation. Show is another word of an ongoing demonstration. Psalms 103. Sometimes we got to put the period at the end of the sentence and add the exclamation point with his word. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, all, not some, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Oh, think about that. But I just want you to think about the promises of God. Speak it out of your mouth. Let your body hear it. Let your children hear it. Read it at the dinner table. Now I don't want y'all thinking I'm fussing at you because I'm not. Love you.